First step is gonna be chalking the wheel. Doing a pre-trip inspection. One wheel chalk in the front and rear of the outermost passenger tight. Okay, so we're gonna start with inside of the bus first. Opening the door, three points of contact, entering the bus. Closing the door behind us. Okay, starting with my first aid and spill cleanup kit. Both are fully stocked, present and secured with the seals intact, letting us know that they are not they have not been in use and they are fully fully uh, fully stocked. Down below we have our fire extinguisher secured to the bus. Registration is up to date and the needle is in the green. Also, we have our three triangles over here, three safety triangles with six spare fuses inside, secured to the bus. And we have two chocks that are currently in use. Then we have our windshield. Windshield is free of any cracks or damages. The gaskets around the windshield are secured. There are no obstructions to the windshield besides the two inspection stickers, which are both present and up to date. Now we're gonna start with our indicator lights. Key. <laughs> Sitting in here, we're going to start without indicator lights, making sure all the lights on the dash turn on, and we're making sure that our DEF light, our ABS light, and our check engine light all go off. Those are the main ones we're looking for. All lights went off so far. We're just waiting for the check engine light to make sure those are all working properly. All right, so all lights on the dash went off, so all of my indicator lights there let us know that they illuminated and worked properly. Now we're gonna manually check our four-way flashers. Four-way flashers are hazards, they're working properly. I have my left turn signal and my right turn signal, as well as my high beams. Those are all working properly. The indicators are on the dash. Now we're gonna do our actual light check itself. <clears throat> turning the headlights on, I can see, excuse me, turning my light switch on, I can see my red flasher and my amber school bus flash indicator lights are showing on the dash. Those are working properly. Now, looking in my mirrors, starting from top to bottom. In the front of the bus, I have three amber clearance lights. I can see in my crossover mirror working properly. I have two red school bus lights and two yellow school bus lights working properly. And also down below, I have my headlights, high and low beam, working properly. And then I have my two turn signal on the left and right of the bus, amber in color. Those are also working properly. Starting on the side of my bus, I have three amber, uh, three clearance lights, two amber, one red on the top on the top side of the bus, working properly. I also have a uh, left turn signal on the side of my bus, working properly as well. Passenger side of the bus, I have three clearance lights, two amber, one red, working properly. And I have a turn signal on the right side of the bus, also working properly. Now I'm going to get up and walk to the back of the bus. As I walk to the back of the bus, I'm going to be checking the seats. All of my seats are secured properly to the bus, to the bus floor. There's no cracks. There's no damage to any of the seats. They're all secured. No unrepaired damage. Making my way to the rear of the bus. Rear emergency exit light is working properly. Uh, rear emergency exit door, all glass is intact. Seals around the door is good. Handle for the rear emergency door opens properly. The alarm sounds. The door fully extends and latches properly. Looking outside of the bus, I'm looking for top to bottom. Three red clearance lights up top. Two red school bus lights on each side. Two yellow school bus warning lights on each side. Both are working properly at the bottom of the bus. I have my two directional, left and right, amber and color, working properly, and my four brake and tail lights. They are all red in color and working properly. Closing the door, making sure it closes and latches properly. On the way back, I'm going to be checking all of my emergency exits. I'm just going to explain. I would push this emergency exit all the way open, turn the red knob to exit, and press with my thumb to open up and listen for the alarm. I have four emergency exit windows. 
I would open them by pulling on the red handles, extending the windows, and also looking for the alarms as well, closing them back. Two more emergency exit windows here. I would do the same, open the handles, listen for the alarms, push them out, make sure that they open and close freely. And my last emergency roof exit on the front, fully extend, push it all the way open, turn the red knob to exit, push the red knob in, listen for the alarm, and make sure that it opens properly. Coming back to the front of my bus, sitting in the driver's seat. <clears throat> in the driver's seat, I'm looking at all of my mirrors. My mirrors are all free of cracks, damage. Driver side mirrors, front crossover mirrors, and passenger mirrors, as well as my interior passenger mirror. They are free of cracks, damage, and are secured to the bus. I will check the brackets on the outside when I go outside. But most importantly, all of my mirrors are set and adjusted for me. Going with my steering wheel, the horn is working properly. My windshield wipers, they are free. They're working on all levels. They're operating smoothly. And the windshield wiper fluid dispenses properly. Looking at my defroster and my driver's defroster, I'm gonna turn it on high. I'm gonna stand up and just make sure that it's working clear, uh, properly. There's no obstructions coming from it. They all the vents are all clear and working properly. Turning my master switch on. Now I'm going to open my door. My passenger door opens freely. Looking at my passenger steps, I have proper tread. There's no debris or any obstructions of any kind on the, on the steps itself. Handrails are secured to the bus. Alongside of the bus here, I'm looking at the front of the bus. I see that my crossing arm extended properly. When I go outside, I'll check to make sure that it is secured properly to the bus. And on the left side of my bus here, my stop sign came out. Both lights are flashing and working properly. And I'm also going to check to make sure that is secured when we go outside of the bus. I'm now going to close my door, shut my master switch off, and turn my, key, my bus off. When I turn my bus off, it will activate my child checkmate system. On this vehicle, I'm going to have to turn the key to the left get up and walk to the back of the bus as i'm walking to the back of the bus on any normal school day i'm going to be checking to make sure that there are no children left on the bus looking in between left and right underneath all seats I'm going to come to the back press the button and do a double check on the way back to the front of the bus looking on and around underneath all of the seats Okay, now I'm going to exit the bus and do my exterior pre-trip. First thing I'm going to do, make sure I always have the key with me in my pocket, and I'm going to exit the bus. This is also an emergency exit, so to use this, we're going to operate it by pushing the handle to the left and pushing it open, making sure that it operates in emergency mode. Exiting the vehicle, once again, three points of contact at all times. Exiting the bus, closing the door behind us, making sure it's working properly. All right, on the outside of the bus, checking the mirror brackets on this side, on the passenger side. Both mirror brackets are secured to the bus, free of um, any damage. My hood latch opens properly on this side of the bus as well. As I look at the bus, I'm making sure that it's not leaning from one side or the other, which can indicate a, a flat tire, uneven pavement, or simply a problem with suspension. Looking underneath the bus, I don't see any leaks or hanging objects of any kind. From top to bottom, I'm looking at all of my lenses to make sure that they are free of cracks and damage. Three amber clearance light lenses, two red school bus warning lights, two yellow school bus warning lights. I have my headlights. All of the lenses are free of cracks or damage. Headlights are clear in color, and I have two directionals, amber in color, free of cracks or damage. Also have my crossing arm, which I'm checking now to make sure it's secured. No missing bolts. Drop me to the bus. Uh, driver side mirror brackets, both of those are secured to the bus, not cracked, broken, or damaged. And I'm opening the hood latch on this side. Now I'm going to open the hood. All right, so this side of the bus, engine compartment. I'm checking my oil, excuse me, my oil and transmission dip, dipsticks. Both are present. I would check them by pulling them out, making sure that the um, the level is between add and full when I pull out the, the dipsticks themselves. I have my engine coolant and my power steering fluid. Cool, uh, my power steering fluid. Both are the caps are on securely. 
they are at the proper levels between add and full. The hoses are all connected properly with the clamps. There's no damage or leaks coming from any of the hoses and the clamps are, the clamps are all on securely. Steering system. I have my steering shaft connected to my steering gearbox. Steering shaft itself is not bent or damaged of any kind. Steering gearbox does not have any leaks of any kind. No damage and all of the bolts are on properly. Um, I have my pitman arm, my drag link, and my steering arm. They are all connected properly, no damage. I have my, ca my castle keys and cotter pins and bolts. They are all connected properly to those components and the links and joints are free of any damage. I also have my uh, shock absorber straight up and down connected to the frame and the front axle. There's no leaks or any damage connected um, coming from the shock absorber itself. Going on to my frame, my frame itself is free of any illegal welds or any damage to the uh, frame. No holes, no rust. I have my uh, spring mounts and my leaf springs themselves. My, my spring mounts are connected properly to the frame with no missing bolts and no loose parts. My leaf springs themselves are all in intact. They're none shifted, they're none broken, they're all in place. No damage. To my brakes, I have my brake hose. The brake hose is free of any damage and I don't hear any leaks coming from the brake hose. Off to my brake pads themselves or my brake shoes, they are free of any type of contaminants or, such as excess oil, dirt or grease and no cracks or damage to the brake shoes themselves. Checking my tire, inside and outside of the wall of the tire, no cuts, no bubbles, no damages. The proper tread depth of the tire is 4 30 seconds of an inch of tread depth. You would check that with a tread depth gauge and it is inflated properly to 110 psi that you would also check with a tire pressure gauge looking at the rim itself the rim is not bent or damaged of any kind no cracks or damage to the rim the valve stem is present and secure with the cap on securely looking at all of my lug nuts bolts they are all present and secure. None are missing, none are loose. I don't see any shiny spots. I don't see the bolts themselves extending from the lug nuts, free of um, any um, strips or wears or damage to the bolts themselves. <clears throat> so that takes care of my tire area. Now I'm gonna close, <clears throat> close the hood. Drop the hood latches back, see to the side of the bus. Um, this side of the bus, I'll double check just in case I didn't do it. Driver side mirror brackets, both attached, both and secured. No damage to the mirror brackets themselves. Stop sign, secured. No cracks or damage to the lenses. Secured properly to the bus. Battery box door opens and closes freely. Battery box itself, push pins are intact. Uh, the cables are connected properly to the battery. There's no excess um, corrosion or damage to the wiring. They're all connected properly to the battery itself. On the side of the bus, we're looking at my three clearance lights up top, free of cracks of damage, and also my amber um, turn signal, free of cracks of damage. Amber uh, clearance lights up top is two amber and one red and amber for the turn signal. Also have three reflective dots on the bottom, two amber and one red in the rear. Coming to the rear of the bus, I also have airbags. They are not up in the front on this vehicle, they are in the rear. The rear airbags are free of any damage. I don't hear any leaks and they are secured properly to the vehicle. Reflective tape around my emergency exit windows as well are all intact. Starting from the back of the bus here, looking at the lenses, top to bottom, three red clearance lights, free of cracks of damage. Two red school bus and two yellow school bus warning lights, both free of cracks of damage. Four red and brake and tail lights free of cracks or damage and two amber directionals free of cracks or damage. Alongside of the bus, we have the emergency exit around the, the door and the two reflective uh, the emergency. We have the two, re we have reflective tape around the do emergency door and two red reflective dots. Also, we're checking to make sure that the rear door emergency exit opens properly from the outside. Coming to this side of the bus, I would check this side of the bus the same exact way as I would check the opposite side of the bus. However, on this side, I have my diesel exhaust um, fuel tank. The door opens freely. Cap is on securely with the gasket seal intact. 
underneath, I don't see any leaks or any damage to the fuel tank itself. And then coming over here, the final part of the bus, is we have our DEF tank. DEF tank opens. The door opens and closes. It should. <laughs> That's why we check it. Door opens and closes freely. Cap is on securely. No damage or leaks coming from the tanks as well as the gasket around the cap. And that completes my